Hey girls, good morning, happy Monday. Um, just trying to get things going here. We're in the middle of some severe weather warnings. Fun's been going nuts all morning, but that's okay. We are going to follow through. Today starts the summer challenge. We talked about this a little bit last Friday, and I'm so excited this morning because we are launching it. Welcome to Summer Challenge 2017 in Cafe Thrive. This is going to be a great journey between now and September. Yeah, June, July, August, so three months. That we're going to be really challenging and have fun with it. We're going to learn, we're going to grow. If you haven't been much into studying the Bible, because so many times what we're told is just, you know, go to church, listen to the verse, come home, and we're done, right? Not many people are picking up the Bible and really digging in anymore. So we're going to challenge you over the summer when things are not as much going on, but you've got a lot of vacations and kids are home, but to find quiet time and actually take the challenge on. I promise if you take this challenge on, you will transform your life over this summer. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to be you committing each day to just a little bit of work in your Bible. So if you're a game, we're going to play. We're going to transform lives this summer. Starting with Mondays being morning minutes. A teaching that could be 10, 15, 20 minutes long. Then Tuesday through Thursday, we're going to do morning moments. Which are going to be quick. Just like that happening, right? Anywhere from 2 to 5 minutes quick. It's a verse for you. And every time I give you a verse, your challenge for the summer is you're going to take your journal. Whoops. Ah, I buried it underneath. Got the Bible on top and the journal on the bottom. And I guess that's the way it should be anyhow. Okay, so here's the deal. Every one of you went and got a journal, right? Something you can write in. Journal, notebook. These are really great. They're smaller size. I love spiral because you can fold it back and keep it open. And oops, well, that one's dead. Typically. <laughs> oh, goodness. I cracked myself up. Okay. Anyhow, uh, something to keep it there. So, you're going to get a journal. If you already got one, fabulous. Get yourself your favorite pen. Something you can write with. If you're into the colored pens, get those. You can see I've got those back on the shelf. Whatever it takes for you to get excited about this, okay? Get your Bible, and I'm going to challenge you girls, because I, I just was challenged recently, because I found myself always grabbing, I should have the stuff, I don't know what I'm going to say after the time, right? I was always grabbing my, my pad, right, and pulling up the Bible on that. And what I realized is sitting in church, people don't know, that I was looking at the Bible, and if I'm a leader, I need to lead by example. And that God just said, why aren't you just picking up the Word and turning the pages? And I thought, oh, I don't know. Because that was the cool way to do it? Well, let me tell you this, girls. I'm going to challenge you to pick up a print copy of the Bible. If you don't have one, pretty much you all have one somewhere in the house. Dust off all that dirt, right? All that dust, the hairballs from the doggies or whatever, and get that. Because you will be able to highlight and mark in this exactly where we're at. Okay? Or if you have a journal Bible. My journal Bible's over there, and if I get up, then I'm a total mess here. So, anyhow, get your Bible. What we're going to do is I'm going to give you a verse on Tuesday through Thursday. You're going to take that verse, and you're going to write it down. Yes, I know it's in the Bible. Why do I have to write it down? Because we learn on multiple levels. We learn by hearing, we learn by speaking, and we learn by writing. So you're going to write out the verse. Then what I want you to do with that verse is I want you to look at it and circle key words. Things that stand out to you. Things that pop out to you. You know, for example, one of our verses I'm going to give you today, just in what, what I'm sharing, is Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So I'd go in and I'd circle something by conformed, transformed, and renewing. 
Those are pretty big words in that verse. But circle key words that stand out and pop out to you. And there may be none on one time. I don't know. But circle those words. Then down below that, what you wrote when you actually took the scripture and wrote it as it was, you've then circled or highlighted the words in the top, right? And maybe what I'll do is I'll do up an example and I'll post a picture um, here in the feed so you can actually see it. Then down below that, what I want you to do in that big old blank space of white paper, I want you to write what that verse is telling you for the day. So if we look, for example, today, Romans 12, 2, Do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So what is that telling you? What does that verse tell you? That verse tells you that all of this out here is not what we should be paying attention to. What we should be doing is renewing our mind, transforming our mind through God's Word and what His Word says to us. So that's going to be your challenge. And if you get stuck at a point, so let's say, for example, you circle the keywords, but you're getting nothing, right? And it's going to happen. Sometimes it happens, and that's because our brains are so busy sometimes that we're, there's just a lot of chatter in it. So try to slow, slow it down. Get a cup of coffee. Breathe. Go outside and enjoy if you've got a beautiful setting. And just breathe. Ask God to show you what He wants you to see in that verse. Then write it down. That's Tuesday through Thursday. Friday, we're going to come back together again, and we are going to review what it is that we just did. This is going to be fun. I want you to have fun with it. Doodle on the pages. Do whatever you want. Use colors. Have fun. Because see, studying the Bible, girls, isn't this mundane horrible task. What you're going to find out is as you look at each of these verses, you are going to be blown away at what God is going to show you. How God is going to transform and renew your mind. Transform and renew your spirit. And you're going to become a totally different person. Maybe there's things that you don't feel you've been able to do. God is going to empower you through this challenge to go do it. Because see, what we forget sometimes is how exciting it was when we accepted Christ. Right? We accepted Christ. We became a Christian. We were so excited to know Jesus. We were excited. We were like, oh, God's going to make everything good now. It's going to be a rosy life. Everything's going to be great. And don't get me wrong, it's been good. That it's not a rose garden, ladies. We know that. There's trials, there's tribulations, there's doubt, there's fear, there's all this stuff that comes up that God allows. Or that sometimes we create ourselves that take away from that joy that we have in Christ. So we just have to be reminded. That's where Romans 12, 2 comes in. You know, we think about 12.2, and I want you to write this down. Romans 12.2, that's going to be a verse for today. Yes, you're going to do the same thing today with your verses. I'm going to give you two for today, and you're going to use those today the same way. Write them down, pick out your keywords, and then what is God saying? So again, God says here, the secret, ladies, to us succeeding as Christians, to us thriving as Christians, to us just... Being that light and that joy and that peace is Romans 12 too. Do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. See, how many of you were blindsided by unrealistic expectations? And, you know, we accepted Christ, right? However many years ago. For me, it's been 37-ish years, I believe. So, all of that time, when I first got saved, I just figured... Poof! God was going to fix me. I was going to be that ideal Christian. See, I set those expectations. I blindly did that. Nobody told me that's what God does. In my mind, I said, if I become a Christian, I'm going to be fixed. I expected God to automatically 
just change who I was. I wasn't a bad person. But there were things in my life that were not right. I expected God that when I accepted Him, accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, I expected it just to be fixed. I didn't think that I had to actually take action with it. But year after year, the same habits happened. The same things were going. I could not seem to break those habits. And I thought, okay, I can create this plan to fix me. Well, of course, that failed. You hit a wall, right? And I'm starting to learn pretty quickly that there's more to it than me just saying, I'm going to change those habits. You see, on our own, we can't change our habits. We can't transform our lives. Our old strategies, our new strategies, unless they include Christ, God's plan, God's strength, we're relying on our own. And you know what that does. We quit, right? You get going, things don't work out the way you wanted to, and you quit. This challenge is going to be the same way, ladies. Don't quit in this challenge. I need you to commit with me to follow through for the next three months. That you will pick up those verses and see what God has to show you. This is going to be a powerful time of transformation for you. So, what happened? I had to renew my mind, right? I had to set my path straight with what His will was and lean on Him. I started, my mind started to renew. I was consistently, diligently, and expectantly pressing into God as He began to change me. What's amazing is some of these changes may be small, others may be great, but you will begin to see the changes in your life your thoughts, your emotions, your behaviors that you would have never thought possible if you're going to press into Him. So my question to you ladies as we start our challenge, is there something in your life that you've been trying to change forever, right, or maybe it's a new thing, and you had no results? It could be a habit, an emotion that hurts other relationships with people, that's hurting you. It could be a sin that distances you from God. Or maybe it's something that's just making you miserable and unhappy. What is that? Because today we're going to dream big. We are going to have the dream. That, that whole we all joke and say, where's the magic fairy dust? Sprinkle it on me. God is going to sprinkle it on you girls. If you press into the next 30, 60, 90 days, right? Possibly 90, three months with him on this challenge, he will sprinkle some dust on you. So, because we don't have to rely on our own strength and our own knowledge, our own wisdom, the sky is the limit for what God can change. What is it over this summer you want to change? What habit? What habit do you want to start having? Some of you may just want a habit of actually studying God's Word. This challenge will do that. There could be something emotional going on. And we're going to explore that. But each week we're going to explore something new. A new topic. See, we're going to walk through this summer taking God's hand as He leads us through whatever it is that we need to work on. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. Ladies, what do you need God to strengthen you on? 
we're going to explore all of this great, I mean, we've got stuff here to go through. Frustration, anger, work, work, overworker, um, lack of importance, fear of failure, disappointment. We are going to dig in to all of this stuff. Each week, we're going to pick a topic. And we're going to come in. And we're going to do verses. And you're going to grow. And you're going to heal. And you're going to thrive. Because you're pressing into God. Isn't that exciting? I can't wait to see what happens in the fruit of your life. As we're moving through this challenge. I encourage you to share on the post. As I put things up and teasers up. I really encourage you to engage. Share your thoughts. Share your comments. Oh my gosh, that verse is amazing. It changed my life. Whatever it may be. I don't like that verse. It's too, um, too convicting for me. I'm challenged by it. But what we want you to do is just really get into this and have fun. By doing a journal, you can actually see how God is going to transform you over this summer. It's not a lot of work, girls. So don't quit on me. Stay with me. I'm making it short and sweet. One verse a day. That's five or ten minutes out of your day to read, write, and circle, and then ask God. And maybe you write it down in the morning and circle your keywords in the morning. And then you meditate on it, or I call it marinate on it, over the day. And at night as you go to bed, you pick your journal back up and you write down what God showed you today. Take the challenge with me and come hang out. But the deal is you got to follow through to the end. And if you miss a day, that's okay. Pick it up where you, when you come back in. And the other part of the challenge, you have to share with us what's happening in your life. How is God changing you? How are you excited about what God is doing? And maybe it's something as silly in your mind as... You know, I'm tired of getting mad on the road when somebody cuts me off. That God all of a sudden changes your heart. And instead of getting mad at that person, you now pray for the person. Because we don't know what that person just came through. Was it a death in the family? A loss of a loved one? You know, a divorce? A losing a job? Where they just told they had cancer? We don't know. Now some people are just, sorry, jerks. But we can pray for them that they might find Jesus, right? So it could be something small. It could be something major. But only you and God know what it is. So come with me on this journey. This summer is going to be amazing. And I pray that each one of your lives will be transformed in whatever aspect that you feel you need. Or God feels because sometimes we go one direction and he's over here going, Yo! This way. Be willing to move wherever God's moving you in this journey. And enjoy the journey. Heavenly Father, I just lift these ladies up to you. And I pray, Lord, that you will just bless them for committing to this challenge. And Father, through these next couple months, Lord, show them the habits they need to break. The habits they need to build. And make them a stronger woman of God, filled with your joy, your peace, your compassion, your love, your understanding. And just develop these ladies in such a powerful way, Father, that they become a beacon that is so bright in their community that everybody else wants to know what they have. We thank you, Lord, that you're a living God and that you're going to take us through this challenge this summer. And reveal to us some amazing things. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. All right, girls. Yeah, Bev, I love marinating. I always say that because it just sounds better than meditating. Since the New Age movement kind of took meditating to the other end, right? So, uh, marinating. We're just going to think about it. It's kind of like uh, be pensive. We're going to be th just really thought-producing. But enjoy the journey, ladies. Enjoy this have fun with it. 
doodle, write, whatever you want, okay? But your two verses for today, and there's two only because it's going to talk about our, our challenge. Romans 12, 2, do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. All right? Get your verses down. Start today. Get them in your journal. Write them down. Circle your keywords. And then ask God, what does he have for you today in those words? All right? Remember my other challenge for you. We're going to get rid of the digital Bibles. And I want you to pick up and use a print version. Do it for the, do it for the journey here. Just for this challenge, I want you to do it here. And I want you to be okay with highlighting, marking, making notes. If you've got a journal Bible, I can see the one right there. Yeah, it's pretty big. That's because it's large print for us as we get older, right? But even one of those is fine. You know, and that way you can kind of doodle through it as you're talking to God and tell her the beautiful pictures in it. All right, so there's your challenge. Welcome to the Summer Challenge. I pray that you will be abundantly blessed and that this will be life-changing for you. Watch this week as I'll make an announcement about RISE because RISE is going to be the partner program to go along with the challenge. I am so excited what God's going to do in your life, and I can't wait to hear what happens. All right, love you girls. We'll catch you tomorrow for day two. Bye.